Box, it's story time with mom. Yeah, hi guys, I'm Alyssa, or as my students call me, Mrs. Maestas, or as Steven calls me, Teacher Mom. Teacher Mom. Now that I've been at home teaching my students from home and helping Steven with his work, he calls me Teacher Mom, and I love it. So today we wanted to read a story with you guys, and we were inspired because this morning when we woke up, we went to the window, opened our blinds, and what did we see, Stephen? Snow. There was snow on the ground. So we thought to ourselves, hmm, yeah. what's the perfect drink to have on a snowy morning? What is it, Stephen? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. So we got right to it and had some hot chocolate, right? And it was delicious. So the title of our story today is, Do Frogs Drink Hot Chocolate? How Animals Keep Warm. And here you can see the author, the person who wrote all the words, and the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures to bring those words to life. So the author was Etta Kainer, and it's illustrated by John Martz. So we're gonna go ahead and read. Steven's gonna help me. He's a kindergartner, so he's learning how to read quickly. Kiss your brain for how amazing you're learning to read. He's amazing. We read every night to try and get him to learn new words. So I'm gonna read two pages, and then you'll read one. Get it, got it good? All right, let's do this. So this says, when it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? No. So how do they survive the chilly weather? Let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? No. Some frogs don't even try to keep warm. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frogsicle. It spends the winter with most of its body frozen. When the air warms up, the frog warms up too. All right, Stephen, are you ready to help me with the next page? Mm -hmm. All right, do penguins snuggle with a friend? Yes. In winter, thousands of emperor penguins come together in a giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but cold on the outside. So what do they do? So the penguins shuffle, taking small steps. They slowly change places that way. They all get a turn in the middle. Awesome. Check out that penguin shuffle. Sounds like a dance move, right, Stephen? What would that look like? Penguin shuffle. They put one in the middle to keep warm. Oh, yeah. I like it. I know a dance, and it's called the kids' bop shuffle. The kids' bop shuffle. That's a good one. Okay, let's read this page. Do butterflies sunbathe? Yes. Butterflies can't fly if they are cold, and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? Catch some rays if it's cold. A butterfly will sit on a rock or log and stretch its wings. Then the sun warms up to its flight muscles. Some nice illustrations in that page. Let's see what we have next. Do foxes wear earmuffs? Can you guys imagine foxes wearing earmuffs? That would look kind of funny, right? Nope, they don't. Arctic foxes have small furry ears. The fur helps, but so does the size. Ears stick out into the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. Smaller ears don't stick out as much as big ears, so they lose less heat. Isn't that an interesting fact, Steven? Yep. All right, you're going to help me with the next page. Are you ready? Ready. Do turtles jump up and down to keep warm? No. Many turtles will burrow into the mud but and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond the water is there is cold but never freezes it usually stays about out 39 degrees that's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they wait for spring awesome steven do you know what the freezing temperature is where? Just outside. So say there was a puddle of water. What temperature would it have to be for it to freeze? They um, said 39 degrees it wouldn't freeze. So it's colder than that. Do you know what it is? 
I would say maybe 32 degrees. Ooh, good guess. High five, Stephen. That is a freezing temperature. That's where freezing temperature starts. So anything 32 or below is freezing. Let's check out this page. I'm going to show you guys the picture first, and then I'll read it. It says, do polar bears build homes? Yes, pregnant polar bears build dens, but not with wood and hammers. Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. When it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. The den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. Look at those polar bears. They look like architects in that illustration. Do you know what an architect is, Stephen? Mm, kind of. Tell us what you think. Scoop well, back so we can see your no. sweet face. Nope. No. I'll tell you. So an architect is someone who designs and builds. So like, for example, houses or buildings, an architect has to draw up a plan and decide how it's going to be built. Okay, do you want to help me with this page? I'm going to show you guys the page first. It says, do whales wear snowsuits? Go ahead and tell us, Stephen. No. Well, elves have what? Blubber. Blubber under their skin. In the layer, layer of fat keeps their body, body in and their cold out. Whale blubber. Whale blubber can be up to 12 inches and 30 centimeters. Good. Centimeters. Good Thick. Thick. It also stores energy so whales can keep going for a long time without eating. Good work, Stephen. Do squirrels curl up under blankets? Yes. I'm surprised at this one, are you? I did not know the squirrels cuddled in blankets. Let's see what this is about. Squirrels have built-in blankets. When it's cold out, they wrap their long, bushy tails around themselves so their body won't, or their body heat won't escape. And that's not all. As the temperature drops, less blood flows into their tails. Instead, it stays in their bodies to help them keep warm. So that wasn't exactly what we expected, right? Right. Do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? You guys read that answer for us. Let's say it with them, Stephen. Yes. yes. Japanese, oh, how do you say this? Macaques? Um, macaques, yeah. Yeah, love to take warm baths. There are places in Japan where hot water bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, the macaques will jump into these hot pools to warm up. Check out those illustrations. Look at that monkey in the bath. That makes me sort of want to take a bath. What about you? Yeah, I love baths. What is this one? Do two Ataras sit by a campfire? No. Go ahead and read it to us, Stephen. Two Atara's bodies cannot make heat, but birds' buddies? Let me see. That. Birds' bodies. Bodies. Bodies can. So, what does a Tara do? It has a sleepover with a little bird called a fairy parrot. The heat from the bird helps keep the tuatara warm from the tuatara from getting too chilly overnight. Nice. Do honeybees use teamwork? Stephen, does this remind you of Miss Kovac? Hmm? What teacher does this remind you of? Miss Kovac, she loves bees. She loves bees. It reminds me of her too. So do they use teamwork? I'm guessing they do. Let's see. The okay. answer is, let's say it with them. Yes. yes. In the winter, honeybees form a cluster around the queen bee. Then they shiver together. By vibrating their wing muscles, they raise the air temperature in the hive. This keeps the queen toasty warm. 
How do bees have energy for all this shivering? What do you think they eat, Stephen? Honey. Yep, they eat honey. They eat honey, honey. <laughs> do you get it? I called you honey. And guess what? what? Mindy reminds me of a song. Which one? Royal. Oh, yeah. Because we'll always be royal. royal. You can call me Queen Bee and baby I'll roll. Okay, do birds fly south? What? This answer is different. This answer is yes, yes and, and no. no. In winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth. Other birds survive wintry weather by eating as much as possible. This gives their bodies energy to keep warm. Feathers help too. When they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to a bird's skin. Awesome. Oh my goodness, how do we say this word, Stephen? Guanacos? We're gonna, we'll just check the pronunciation and make sure we pronounce these right for you guys. Guana. Coast. Guana. We're gonna say it how we think. Guana. Guana. Coast. I'm gonna say guanacos. Do guanacos wear leg warmers to keep warm? Yes, sort of. Guanacos have thick woolly coats, but there is very little fur on their leg. When it's cold outside, chilly guanacos lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies. This keeps them nice and warm. All right, this is our last page. Go ahead and read it, Stephen, and then I'll show them the picture. All of animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold. But what, what about you? What do you do to keep warm? So we're going to ask you guys, our viewers of this video, what are some things you do to keep warm? Mm. Stephen, do you have ideas of what our viewers might say? Cuddle with my baby sister, Mira. Oh, you are the sweetest. Mm. This guy loves his baby sister and they cuddle all the time. What are some mm. other ways that you might keep warm? I'm thinking of clothing. I'm thinking of getting in a blanket. Ooh, a blanket. I was thinking of maybe a beanie or something that goes on your hands. What are those that go on your hands? Um, gloves. Gloves. What about the thing Warm that warms your, your neck? A uh, neck warmer. We do have a neck warmer. I was thinking of a scarf also. <sighs> so those are some ways to keep warm. Thank you guys so much for reading with us today. We had a blast with you. Stephen, let's go ahead and say bye to everyone. Tell them to have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.